The calm before the storm. Operation Sonnenblum. Operation Watch on the Rhine. Operation Market Garden. Three German offenses, three allied defenses, men and steel, head to head in a fight for survival. Let's begin. The first battle of El Alamein. The British army digs in as the German advance begins. So the British have got three main defensive lines. This is one of them. We've got another one up on this hilltop and then finally one over here. And the Germans are advancing on every single one of those positions. And not in a small number. Actually, a lot of the German planes having already been taken down, but lots more of them still coming back in for seconds. And look at the German advance down this canyon. Followed up by infantry behind. Tanks are beginning to move down the narrow street here. British infantry moving up, desperately trying to reinforce their front line. And reinforce it, they will need to look Look at these German panzers charging into this town, completely flattening it. And the panzer column is still moving up the middle. And some incredibly brave British infantry is moving forward. The Germans are already taking this canyon. Through the smoke, more and more panzers arriving with infantry right behind them. They need to get up that hill though. Right now, they are in the kill box. Now, the town has been utterly reduced juice the rubble Well, the defenses do look like they're holding up, probably because so many of these tanks are beginning to join the fight. Reinforcements arriving in the form of Crusaders and Matildas. Come on, boys. Let's see what we can do. Can we retake this town? Infantry moving in alongside these tanks. Somehow he didn't die. Oh, okay. And now we've got a British sniper that's trying to take down a Panzer too. Oh my God, is he about to do it? He's making a run for it. He's got a squad mate. He wasn't there in time. His squad mate didn't make it either. And the Matilda just parks on his body. And these British Matildas dealt with that infantry on the far side. And that guy's had a rough day. The town has been secured. Now we've also got some Germans that are flanking round the other side of the cliff. We have a third position. The Germans are actually being successful here. Pushing on up on these British positions except from that guy who decided he had enough and has been executed. That's what you get for being a coward. No, don't drive into that wall. Don't drive into that wall. He drove into the wall. Ooh, wall panzer's got some friends. Not anymore, he doesn't. Wall Panzer, best Panzer. The final Panzer three on this side is going in and he has actually taken down these defenses. Oh my God, there's still a guy up there. There's actually British infantry still on that tower. How has he not realized what's happening? He's throwing a grenade. What throw? I don't believe it. Come on, son. Oh, is he dead? What an absolute hero. Oh no. Surely he can't survive. Four anti, sorry, make that five anti-air craft guns and he goes down. And so the UK wins that battle. The Battle of the Bulge. US troops prepare for a bitter winter when a sudden German counteroffensive begins. The American objective in this battle is to hold these defensive positions. Now that's going to be no easy task if we take a look at what the Germans are fielding to the battle. The Americans do of course have anti-tank guns and sniper towers. And what's that coming over the hill? It's a Stug! Almost all of the sniper tower is already dead, and there he goes. And now we're getting to see these anti-tank guns holding the line here. What a shot! But look how many German tanks are moving around. That is not what you want to see. Anti-tank gun sniper towers. He's going all in. There's an anti-tank gun right next to him. He's about to blow up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is definitely not what you want to see. The American infantry has joined the battle, and they're actually just going in. Oh no, this dog's gonna go for some flattens here. No! Oh, so close! It's absolute bedlam. Although we've got an equally impressive conga line of American infantry moving in. 
But is that okay? Sorry, we had an American conga line moving in. This right here is a choke point. On the left-hand side, American infantry moving in. On the right-hand side, German panzers. It's just an endless stream of tanks versus an endless stream of infantry. Once again, not where you'd want to be standing with a sniper rifle. As you can see, standing is ground, but I guarantee you it's not a good decision. The infamous tiger is leading the charge over here as American infantry moves up to take him out with bazookas. Look at these German tanks coming over the hill and immediately getting killed, but there we go. On the right-hand side, we can see, or sorry, that was some German infantry. It's these anti-tank guns, man. Look at these three guys in a line, and look at that tiger coming over the hill. Who's wanting to bet how long that tiger lasts for before getting cut down? They need to focus fight. There we go. Now, over on the other side, we've got a tiger tank that is hunting down the enemy that just seems to be going through the forest all on his own. How has nobody killed him yet? There we go, at long last. I'll tell you what though, there's still a conga line of Germans back here. It's conga line versus conga line. How did this guy survive? And no, also, what was that throw? What are those throws, bro? He deserves to die. He's gonna get it. For those throws, you deserve... <laughs> that. And now the infantry battle begins. They're actually doing it. Look at these boys. They're pushing the German infantry back and all. This building here is crawling with Germans, but how long can they hold on for? They are taking a pounding. One goes down. The second one goes down as well, and the building is being blown open. And look at this. The Americans aren't even cleaning the house out. They're just going to demolish the entire thing. I mean, to be fair, that's one way of doing it. They've taken him down. Do the Germans have anything left? No, they don't. The Americans win that battle. The Battle of Arnhem. Cut off and low on supply. A desperate British last stand to hold the bridge. Now, I'm sure you already guessed, but this is Arnhem. This is the bridge they are going to try and defend. And this is the endless stream of Germans, which will be consistently spawning throughout this battle. So the British are going to start with the defense advantage, but slowly the Germans are going to get the upper hand, so the challenge is how long can the British defenders defend the bridge? Look at these guys eagerly crossing the bridge. You really don't know what's waiting for you, do you? The battle's only just started and look how many German tanks have arrived. In order to protect the bridge at the crossing point, we have got tons of defenses, including anti-tank guns, as many machine guns as we could get our hands on, and of course, a whole lot of infantry. But even with all of that, the German tanks are still trying to- what the hell just- what were you thinking? What was that? What on earth was that? Round of applause, well done. Look at all those guys bravely running up to the battlefield. Then look at this guy and this guy. What's he doing? His whole squad is running up and he's just crawling slowly. Yeah, look at the German advance now. It's only a matter of time. I mean, look at this. The buildings are dropping left, right, and center. Now the Brits have been pushed back over the bridge and they are gonna try and stop the Germans from getting over. The first German tank. Oh, what was that? The first German tank is making his way over the bridge. And down it goes. Not today. The Brits are still making a stand. But we've got another customer. And down he goes. Any more customers? Talk about a choke point. This bridge is turning into the kill box to end all kill boxes. If this is not bravery, I don't know what is. The Brits are still moving in to protect that bridge. And look what they're up against, man. Look at what they're up against. Except from that guy. He dead. I'm getting some serious World War One vibes. I'm sure it'll be fine, boys. Just run over the top. Somebody blow the whistle. But we've got another wave from the Germans. How far is he gonna get? Oh, that's a squish. How many more of those? That's another squish. We've hit critical mass. Look at this. Panzer IV is moving in. Infantry swarming over the bridge. Now, the Brits are low on manpower and they are low on ammunition, but they're still moving in. Yeah, it's not looking too good for this guy, to be perfectly honest. I, if we were to place a bet on who we think's gonna, who do we think's gonna to come out on top here. I'm gonna be honest, it, it wasn't that guy. It, he he wasn't gonna win that. 
You can take him. You can take him. Oh, he missed. That one didn't know. Oh, yeah. It says uh, not looking too good. I think it's just a hunch. I've got a hunch here, guys. Work with me. I think this one might be a German victory. Just a suspicion. I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. The Germans won that. Yeah, I think we saw that one coming. People have been asking me, why don't I play this game anymore? Here's why. Total Tank Simulator sucks. For more honest reviews, subscribe.